I'd like to show you how to adjust the pressure according to the weight of the rider so that the simulator can be used correctly. First thing that we need to do is take the dust cap off of the shock absorber here and then attach the shock pump to the shock absorber. Now if the pressure is too high it will be difficult for a lightweight rider to use a simulator and if the pressure is too low it will be too easy for the heavier rider. Um, so this is how you adjust it. As it is at the moment, I've attached it, it's set at £150 per square inch. That's for a rider that's between maybe 9 stone, 57 kilos, or 12 stone, 76 kilos. To take the pressure out, there's a button at the bottom of the shock absorber uh, pump here, and you just press that and lower it down. That's £125 per square inch, so 7 stone up to 9 stone, 44 to 57 kilos and then down to about 100, and you don't want to go much lower than that. It would be for a rider between five stones of so 31 kilos up to seven stone, 44 kilos. Of course, to adjust and put more pressure in, you just have to use the shock pump accordingly.